Well, the, the performance I, I, I just done now, it's called um, Hypocrisis. And um, the basic idea behind it is to, to bring uh, performance art and, and music technology, visual technology together, um, all embodied in physical strain of, of a human being on stage. And um, the idea of, of, of the strain is, is on, one, on one hand to show how, how fragile is, is the human body and on the other how strong it is at the same time. Um, so again using the same instrument, the accents, but just in a very different way because it's not like I have musical gesture, I'm just pulling these concrete blocks and I just have to pull them until the end. Uh, and, and the sound, it's, it's not, uh, I'm, I'm not controlling the sound and the visual, but they just rather emerge from, from the strain in my body. And uh, what, what's technically happening is uh, um, I start that I'm really quiet and uh, my, my contractions are also quite, quite soft. But then uh, the, 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 the software uh, starts recording and accumu accumulates all the muscle sound in the same way as my body accumulates tiredness and exhaustion. And so it, there is just this, this really slow climax that eventually ends up with me completely exhausted and trying to, to finally release and lift these, these blocks. And, and basically all the sound that I produce during the performance accumulated in just one wall of sound. Um, this is from the performance point of view, from the audience point of view, the, the, the project aims to, uh, to make this invisible strain of, of, of the performer's body a tangible sensation on, on, on the audience member bodies. Um, so the sound is, is loud enough to make vibrate the other bodies. And this is something very interesting about the accents because the accents just play back muscle sounds and since uh, they, they, uh, they are sound, they can resonate the human body because it's exactly the same frequency that all muscles, muscle produce. I can actually resonate the, the body of the audience in the same way as you can resonate a glass and break it at some point uh, with the frequency. So I don't want to break the audience body, but you know, make this strain actually tangible. And it's kind of interesting because in, in the premiere that I did last year in Spain, um, at the end of the performance, there were two spectators that, that came to me saying that they, they, were, they were in pain in their arms because without realizing it, they were, they were just tensing their bodies while, while looking at me, which is of course, on one hand, is of course a psychological thing because you, you're watching this, this person, it's really strained. On the other, it's related to these resonant frequencies that actually stimulate the, the sensory system of the audience too. So yeah, this. <laughs> festival there um, and it's a it's also a tough uh, piece to perform so I'm using a heart monitor and, uh, and the band for capturing brain waves and throughout the piece uh, this is literally kind of bringing with no gesture with no movement at all uh, just kind of bringing what I'm going through so it starts uh, focusing more on, on the brain waves, and I need to kind of be changing from these mental states, uh, from going, you know, from very relaxed to more tense, and that's the way the, the piece uh, starts evolving, and the projections on the body 
is also another way of kind of showing, you know, what we're all made of, in a sense. You know, it's, it's just a complete look um, at the at the inside. So it starts with a, a very, you know, cognitive uh, thought, brain, uh, thinking, and slowly evolves towards a more visceral, more, uh, you know, emotional uh, type of discourse. So. Uh, from throughout, from about the, the half of the piece, it is my actual heart um, that is being monitored on real time that starts just beating uh, in, uh, on the speakers. And it is, by, when I get to that point, I'm usually extremely tense, extremely, uh, well, mix of nervous and altered. Uh, so my heart rate would be like 120, which is something that you would get usually when you're exercising. And the whole uh, half, uh, the, the second half of the piece is just me being on the stage, completely showing, uh, you know, all of me, uh, trying to calm down to a point where I reduce my heart rate by 60 beats per minute to get to a more relaxed and, and you know, calmer state. Um, and that's that's when the when the piece ends. So. Everything that happens between uh, is always different. It's I really have to go through all these uh, different mental and, and, uh, and emotional states. So it's also a very kind of demanding on the moment and afterwards. You know, you're you kind of go through a lot of things and, <laughs> and it really messes up with you a bit. <laughs>